So I'm here today with Craig Tui from 475, and uh, we're going to talk about the Lunos newest um, HRV, and that's the Next product. And uh, tell me more about it, Craig. Uh, I think it's uh, decentralized, like the old Lunos was. Um, and what's the advantages of this new model? Well, we've been waiting for the next from Lunos for a while and really excited that it's hit the market just as of pretty much this January. We have a few projects that have put it in and really designed to deliver decentralized ventilation. Um, still sort of the same idea as the Lunos E squared where we have a single penetration to the outside and no ductwork required, but we're getting a higher rate of ventilation with the Lunos next. We're getting up to 53 CFM, which let's say that can ventilate like a 1500 square foot open room. Okay. Um, coming from the Lunos Next is also the idea of semi-central ventilation where we conduct to an adjacent bathroom or adjacent bedroom um, so that we don't have to run ductwork through the entire house but we can uh, use a, a central unit. Um, and that's the next generation of this unit? That's sort of, you know, the duct connectors and all of the ducting is coming within the next few months to okay. be able to do that. Okay, so you're saying this is about three times more powerful as the old Lunos model? and it's still decentralized, which means it doesn't have to have ductwork running all over the house. But um, inside, there's a little bit different magic that's happening in there. We're used to seeing the kind of cross flow of the uh, regular HRVs with their ductwork, right. but this seems to have a different core style in there. Yeah, this is a little bit different, certainly from the E-square where we have you know one uh, one flow of ventilation uh, as exhaust, then reversing direction and coming in with supply in interval, uh, in 70 second intervals, the next has a counterflow heat exchanger. So you get two types of heat exchangers generally in heat recovery ventilation. You get cross flow uh, heat exchange and counterflow heat exchange. And the counterflow heat exchange is going to be much more efficient because those two air streams are right next to each other the whole time that they're crossing each other. We have two fans in here. We have exhaust and supply at all times. We have um, actually something we didn't talk about before, but um, an antifreeze mechanism by actually changing the rate of ventilation when okay, it gets right. too cold. Right. So it speeds up and adds a little bit more warmth to the, that core, and it automatically kind of knows when to do that. And uh, we can take a look inside if you Yeah, like. let's look under the hood. Um, we can take uh, actually this whole plate off because we don't have plate. it attached now. Okay. Or one step at a time, this is the cover that comes off. Okay. And then this would be the piece that would normally be fastened to the inside. So normally when we look inside an HRV, we'll have four ports here and cross ventilation going this way. Um, but this looks like it's completely designed different. You have one or two inputs. Two yeah, just two in, two in the back here. And one of them is coming in and the other is going outside. That's, so that's right. Mm -hmm. And then two ports here. One's pulling in stale right. air from outside. So here are ports out the side of the front panel. Okay. And so we're pulling in uh, stale air from one side and we're and we're supplying fresh air to the other side. Of course, all this is out filtered. Here and there. Yeah. And it's doing all the heat exchange here in the core. That's right. It's this aluminum fins basically in exactly. here. Exactly. And tell us more about the fans, how much energy yeah, they're, it uses? They're, or? they're very uh, low power fans, just okay. like the E-squared. The E-squared fans uh, use about a watt and a half per fan. Uh, these use a little bit more than that, so the overall power consumption of this is a little bit higher than the next, but certainly pretty low on the, um, the range of, of uh, ventilation options and, and heat pumps and all of those kinds of equipment that you have in the house. And um, pretty very, quiet? Uh, very quiet. Uh, the decibel rating is again not as low as the E squared, but um, but very quiet compared to a lot of uh, ventilation systems out there. Um, very easily serviceable as far as uh, um, you know cleaning filters and all that kind of stuff. Excellent. And um, how often do you need to clean the filters and what? We're we recommend cleaning filters once every three months or so. Okay. Um, and of course, that depends on where you live a little bit. And what are we talking about for uh, heat recovery as far as efficiency goes in this model? Yeah, so the efficiency is uh, pretty good, like the Luna C squared. It's uh, at about 84% efficient. Um, and uh, of course, there's a range depending on the difference in temperature between interior and outside. Uh, but this is uh, an average uh, heat recovery efficiency for this unit. Excellent. Well, thanks, Greg. I appreciate your time. Thank you very much.